All right, if you've ever wanted to learn how to do these in continuous hip catches in West Coast Swing, that is the subject of today's video. My name is Brian B, and Megan likes to be on that side when she says, <laughs> I miss Megan. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> continuous hip catches. Once again, brought to you by Miss Emily, who's behind the camera. So I have to know a roll in, roll out, right? I need to be able to do a roll in, connect, and roll out. That's step number one. Then I have to do a roll in, roll out with a rock and go. Roll in, roll out into the continuous hip catches. So second skill is I have to be able to connect. I prefer to connect with my left hand. Bunch of different ways to do it. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Putting Megan on that foot for six. Now my left hand trades to my right hand. She triples, triple forward. We're gonna do it again. Triple forward. One more time, but this time I'm a roller in front of me. Triple step and anchor step. So there's a couple things that, let me talk about me first. And then Megan will talk about what she does. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, right? Now I'm going to trade to my right hand. I'm going to bring her forward. Triple forward, triple forward. When I'm done, she's on her uh, left foot. I'm going to trade her to my right hand and put her back onto her right foot. And then we anchor step. But if the follower doesn't stay connected back, then this is a problem. So this connection right here, click, put a hand in, we're connected, put a hand on, connected. Even though she's coming forward, that's the same type of feeling. There's a, even though she's stepping forward, she's still connected away. One, two, three, and four, five, and, even though she steps on six, she doesn't empty that connection out. She still gives me something in my hand. Seven, and she's forward, but there's still a little weight in my hand. One more time. Now when I'm done, I want to feed her triple, and I'm trying to land that step to the back and left. That tells her she's done, and then we anchor steps. So you can, talk, can you talk about that connection that you do? Because uh, I don't know yes. what happens. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. <laughs> uh, so when we're here on uh, and, I'm definitely solidly back in this. When they take us onto our other foot, I'm just making sure that kind, I'm a little bit split weight. Me too, actually, for that matter. There's still some pressure in my left foot. Triple step. And that's how I'm staying connected back in this hand. I'm st I've got weight in both feet. And me too. I've still got maybe 25% mm, of my weight in my right foot. Triple step. Same thing again. There's still pressure there, right? So I can feed her onto both feet. When I'm done, triple send her to that foot and anchor step. All right, as we finish the video, Miss Emily says, that's not the way I do it. So Megan's gonna come out here and we're gonna see <laughs> how Emily does this, this move. Both ways work. All right, let's see it. <laughs> Typically, Megan and I teach it this way with a pop out rather than a rock and go. Very similar, slightly different timing. We have one, two, three, and four, and five, six, instead of the five and six. Still putting our follower uh, on her left foot on six, seven and eight, nine and 10, 11 and 12, anchor step. Okay, since my mic's still hot, explain the timing difference because I kept it straight time, but explain the and five for us. You sure did, but <laughs> this is a more advanced version. Maybe not really, but there's an acceleration into that pop out. We have one, two, three and four. From here, I'm accelerating into the catch and five, and then putting her on her foot on six. And everything else is the same. Everything else is the same. How do you know if you're just doing one hip catch or uh -huh. continuous? That is the question. I don't really know what to say after that, but one, two, three, and four, and five, Six. If I'm just doing a single hip catch, I am going to immediately try to divert my partner and then we have our anchor. If I'm going to do the continuous um, hip catch, I'm going to continue the momentum down the line, which should feel different for the follower. It does. I don't have a mic. It does. <laughs> <laughs> so if we did it one more time, the continuous, and then we'll do just the single. We have one, two, three and four and five, six, seven and eight, 
9 and 10, 11 and 12, anchor step. Just the single, we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5, 6. We immediately change that um, energy between us and then we have our stationary. All right, segueing off the and five pop out, because I do that, Miss Emily. Megan and I did a whole video with a bunch of different variations off of that pop out with different ways to change the slot and keep things going. If you want to watch that, we'll drop it right here. If you want to see all of our videos, head on over to Social Dance, head on over to westcoastswingonline.com, because you're a West Coast Swing dancer. You can access it right here for 14 days for free.